All right, let's go finish the seating project. All right, so welcome back for another video. Today I'm gonna to be finishing fixing these spots. What I'm gonna do is just gonna take one spot as an example and then I'll show you how to do that and obviously I will be finishing the rest of them but I don't need to show you every single one. We'll just replicate what I do on this one on all the other ones. So I'm gonna start with one final rake of this area just to make sure all the dirt is broken up. Pick up any of this dead grass that's still sitting in there. You know, that looks good. Now, even though those spots look pretty good as far as dirt goes, I grabbed a little bit of fresh topsoil in order to just put a nice fine layer on top of there to make sure we get some good seed soil contact. Again, so I don't need much of this topsoil. I'm just gonna add just a little fine layer on there. Okay, so that's a pretty clean bed. Now we're going to put down the seed and I'll show you what I'm using. This is the seed that I got from Site One, which also used to be called John Deere Landscapes. This isn't gonna be an exact match to my other bluegrass here that's in the backyard, but this is 100% bluegrass. I just found something that was at least somewhat similar. Um, they update varieties and things like that. So it's kind of hard to match exactly what was here. I have four different types of bluegrass. So this will be slightly different. Are you going to notice a huge difference once this is all established? Probably not. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and we're going to sprinkle it on. So bluegrass seed is very tiny, so you can be fairly generous with it. And I like to just kind of use a motion here to put it down fairly evenly. And I'll come in for a, a close-up here in a second to show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so now we have the seed down. I'm going to take my rake. I'm just going to very lightly rake this in a little bit. So that's kind of putting it down into the soil just a little bit, not too far under the surface because you don't want to bury it. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little bit more on top to make sure we have a good amount. And then I'm gonna lightly pat this down, make sure we have good seed to soil contact. But I don't want to compact it too much, I just wanna make sure it's touching the soil. And then the next step is I'm going to be putting some peat moss on top of that just as a covering to make sure the birds don't come in and get a bunch of this and it doesn't get too washed away from a heavy rain or something like that. Okay, so I have my peat moss here now and in case you've never used this stuff, it is quite messy, just kind of dusty in. So kind of pay attention to the way that the wind is blowing so you don't get it all over in your face. But all I'm gonna do is just come out here now and kind of just put a little bit over top of here. We don't want to go too heavy, we just want it covered enough that it's going to hold in some moisture, keep the birds away. So it looks like a pretty good amount, I'll show you the close up. Alright, so now I get to have the fun of fixing all these other spots in the exact same way I did this one. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you my watering setup that I'm going to use for this. If you watched my videos last year, you probably saw my above ground system that I use, but I'll show you that at the end of this video. First, I'm going to fix the rest of these spots.
so that is it for the seeding. One thing that I'm gonna do next that I forgot to mention is I'm gonna be putting down some starter fertilizer. You can use pretty much anything you'd like. I've heard good things about the Scotts brand with the weed preventer in it. I have not tried it yet. I have some Lesco brand stuff that I'm gonna be using up, so that works as well. Whatever you wanna use, it should work fine and just try to contain it a little bit to those spots uh, that you're seeding. Then I wanna talk about this sprinkler real quick. This is the uh, setup that I used last year. I'll link to that video so you can see how I made this But essentially this is just an underground sprinkler that I put a spike on so you can use it above ground And the reason that I'm gonna be using it with this seeding project as well is that these heads uh, Put water out very slowly and kind of evenly if you use something like an impact sprinkler when you're trying to water seed uh, It can be a little bit too harsh. So you want to look for something that's either one of those kind of fanning rain type of sprinklers or something like this will work if you want to set up something like this. So watch that video if you'd like. Otherwise, you can use whatever you have. It will work. Um, you just might have better results if you get a slow kind of rain on there. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.